What's up, everybody, and happy Monday. Happy Monday and happy December 2nd. I think when I recorded my video on Saturday, I don't know, I was just so preoccupied and caught up in other things that I didn't even mention that that was the last day of November and um, the last video for the month and the last, obviously, the last day of the month. And we were starting a new day or a new month on um on sunday like i didn't even mention that. i didn't even talk about that and you guys know how lately i've been so just happy about new beginnings and new months and new weeks i completely forgot about that so i'm gonna hit on it a little bit today then i'll get into my goal but i um today's a special day because yes it's the start of a new month but it's also of course the start of a new week we got new blessings new doors new opportunities not only though is it the start of a new month it is the first well, I guess yesterday was the first last day of the um of the new first last day of a new month, but also December is the last month of not only 2019 but also the last month of this decade. Starting January 1st, we'll be in a new decade, which that is extremely exciting. I didn't even realize that until I saw somebody post it on Instagram, but that is extremely exciting knowing that we're coming into not only just a new year but a new decade. So that means that there's going to be tons of new blessings and tons of new opportunities and tons of new doors that God is going to be opening and new things that he's going to be showing us going into this new decade. So December is a month that we need to um, have full of preparation and full of excitement, but just making sure that we're getting ready. It needs to almost be like a trial month into the new year because starting January 1st, we need to hit the ground running with accomplishing goals and reaching our successes and just really doing things that are outside of our comfort zone, but still inside of the purpose that God has planned for us. So I am overjoyed with with December being my trial month for the new decade. So that means that I have to really practice my obedience because there's a lot of things that I say that I'm going to do, but I don't do it because I'm being disobedient to whatever God is telling me to do. I have to practice with my consistency, with my commitment, just making sure that everything that I say I'm going to do, I follow through. So hopefully you guys are on that same road with me. And that, that is just exciting. I'm just excited but I could literally spend a whole video talking about that. I probably spent like the first three minutes of this video. So let's just get let's just get into today's goal. As always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. The goal for today is to be unconventional. Okay, be unconventional, and this is a great one to start off our month because to be unconventional means that we are not following the normal conventions. We're going outside of. We're kind of going outside of the box, but going outside what is normally expected or required to to figure something out, to reach an end goal, or just to think differently, anything like that. So the reason that we want to be unconventional and the reason that I like it as our starter goal for the month, for this preparatory month, is because I believe that in 2020, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to, um, not only do we have a lot of, are we going to receive a lot of blessings and our new door is going to be open for us, but I think that there are going to be a lot of things that kind of, that have the ability to catch us off guard if we're thinking in an old conventional mindset. But to be unconventional means that we are thinking outside of that old conventional mindset. That way when things pre when things are presented to us, nothing is going to catch us off guard. Like they may surprise us like, oh my gosh, but nothing is going to catch us off guard that rattles us because we're not thinking in that same way that we used to think or we're not doing things in the same way that we used to do them, but we're doing things in a new way or we're thinking about things in a new way so that we're constantly being refreshed or we're constantly in like a revival mindset, if that makes sense. Um, and we're, and we're constantly thinking of newness, like we're constantly in like a new, a new state so that when we're presented with new things, since we're already in that new state, nothing's going to catch us off guard. All right. And we'll be able to take that and hit the ground running and just go wherever God is taking us or wherever we need to go. So that is the goal for today is to be unconventional. I did spend a majority of the time talking about 2020 and this being the last month of the year and the decade. But I am extremely excited about that. So over these next 30 days, we're really going to hone in on um, making sure that we are adequately being prepared for the new month. Each goal this month 
we're going to look at it from a um, preparation mindset and not just say, hey, this is our goal for the day or, hey, you know, let's see how we can finish this goal for the rest of the week or the rest of the year. But we're going to say, how can we use this goal to push us into achieving our goals for next year? And then, of course, towards the end of the month, I'll talk about the plans for 2020 and the new video project that I'm going to be starting. So, yes, thank you guys so much um, for hanging in there with me all of 2019. Wow, I don't want to... I'm not going to get emotional because I'm not that type of person, but I don't want to, you know, be, I don't want to like have a segment of this video like, oh, I just want to think about all of the things, all of the things that I've accomplished. So we'll do that later on. But yes, that is all for today's To Be Unconventional. Hope everyone has a wonderful Monday and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.